Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, it's Joe Pru here, and in this video, I'm gonna be doing a couple lists, if you couldn't tell by the title of this video. However, I'm doing them in a slightly different way than what I've seen other people do. Usually these list videos, you know, they're drawn out way too long, in my opinion, you know, they're these half hour long videos where they're just talking about these albums. And don't get me wrong, I would talk about these albums for like a very long time if you gave me the chance. Uh, but I have a feeling that you would probably not you're a lot of you are probably not watching for that reason you just want to see the list right i mean i hope so so for this video i'm planning on just going through the list as quickly as i can uh both lists i'm doing my top 20 albums and my top 30 songs the top 30 songs will be first and then i'll do the top 20 albums of the year and i'm just gonna do them really rapid fire i'm just gonna list them off you can ask about them and ask why I like these albums or whatever, or just ask why, oh, why'd you put that above that? Blah, 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 blah. You can put that all in the comments, you know? And then I'll actually respond to you and we can have a nice conversation down there and you can find out what you actually want to know. Cool? I'm assuming it's cool. So here we go. Let's start off with the top 30 songs of the year. Uh, both of these lists are gonna be in the description, but if you don't want to spoil them for yourself, until like I actually reach them listing them right now then don't look in the description wait for a second okay cool it's top 30 songs of the year at number 30 we have logic with his lyrical onslaught 44 more and at 29 we have the internet with roll burbank funk at 28 travis scott and drake with sicko mode actually grew on me throughout the year i didn't not still a huge fan of astro world but that song has definitely grown on me and number 27 carsey headrest with nervous young inhumans and number 26 leon bridges with bad bad news and at number 25, Jack White with Over and Over and Over. Number 24, Kali Uchis and Steve Lacey team up on She Wants My Hundred Dollar Bills. Just a Stranger is the name of the song. Uh, number 23, No Name Gypsy, or just No Name with Don't Forget About Me. And at number 22, Campfire Sigh, my dudes in Campfire Sigh with their hilarious, amazing song, Kim Jong-un. 21, Vince Staples with We Just Wanna Have Fun. And number 20, we have MGMT with She Works Out Too Much. And number 19, Tabby with South Dakota. One of my favorite Tabby songs, probably my favorite Tabby song thus far in his discography. And at number 18, we have J. Cole and Jid. Jid and with J. Cole on the song Off D's. Number 17, we have Denzel Curry with Perks. Number 16, Pusha T with the games we play. Number 15, Anderson Pock with Bubbling. Number 14, James Blake with Don't Miss It, underrated single from this year. Number 13, We Are the City with When I Dream, I Dream of You. Number 12, Open Mike Eagle with When You Get Nervous, Say Something Relatable. And at number 11, Girl Sweatshirt with Navy Blue on the song The Mint. And now for the top 10, number 10, we have Anderson Pock again with Kendrick Lamar this time on the song Tense. Number nine, Parquet Courts with Always Had to Start a Fight slash In and Out of Patience. Number eight, Against All Logic with Now You've Got Me Hooked. Number seven, Childish Gambino with This Is America. At number six, Ott with the song Desire. And at number five, JPEG Mafia with Baby I'm Bleeding. Number four, my favorite rock single of the year, Jeff Rosenstock with the song USA. Number three, Kidsy Ghosts with Free. And number two, it is Brock Hampton with Jules Verne. And at number one, Lewis Cole with Things. And so there's my top 30 songs of the year. Let's get into the top 20 albums of the year. But first, let's do some honorable mentions. In the honorable mentions category, we have Tabby with Peach Fuzz, Against All Logics, 2012 to 2017, Kelly Uchis's Isolation, Car Seed, Headrests, Twin Fantasy Remake, album and Sophie's oil of every per pearls on insides. We also have Tierra Whack with Whack World, Clearance Clarity with Think Peace, and Campfire Sigh with their Lemon Boy EP. And now let's actually get into the list here, my top 20 albums of the year, starting with Vince Staples at number 20 with FM. Number 19 goes to Quale Chris and Jean Grey on their album Everything's Fine. Number 18, Nostrum Grocers, Milo and Lucid, collaborative effort, their self-titled debut album at number 18. And number 17, we have Jeff Rosenstock with Post. And at number 16, an album that was really high. I thought it was gonna be one of my favorite albums of the year. However, it has lost favor with me as an album. So some great tracks on it. Still totally worth your time if you've not heard 
heard it yet, Ott with their album, Room Inside the World. At number 15, it's Jid with his awesome new album, DiCaprio 2. Number 14, Milo with Budding ornithologists are weary of tired analogies. Number 13, MGMT with Little Dark Age. And at number 12, Open Mike Eagle with What Happens When I Tried to Relax. That's my EP of the year. I told you guys a while back it was my EP of the year. It's still my EP of the year. Number 11, just outside the top 10, are my boys We Are The City with the album at night. Now the top 10, number 10, No Name Gypsy, or just No Name, I always say Gypsy, but it's just No Name I think now, with with her new project, Room 25. Number 9, Anderson Pock with Oxnard. And number 8, Janelle Monet with Dirty Computer. And number 7, Jack White with Boarding House Reach. And at number 6, Earl Sweatshirt with some rap songs. And now for my top five, I have them in this order. At number five, we have JPEG Mafia with Veteran. Then at number four, we have Brock Hampton with Iridescence. And then at number three, you have Denzel Curry with my favorite hip hop album of the year, Taboo. And then at number two, you have my favorite rock album of the year, Parquet Courts with Wide Awake. And at number one, Lewis Cole with Time. I, I told you guys it was my album of the year. It's my album of the year. If you want to get into the reasons why, you can hit me up in the comments. But other than that, this video is already over. That was really quick and painless, and I'm very happy about that. This has been my top 30 songs of the year and my top 20 albums of the year. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. It's been a, a cool having my first full year of actually reviewing albums and actually being able to make a list where I've actually using all albums that I reviewed on this channel or in some capacity. You know, I some of them that I placed on this list, I, 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 I did review them uh, on Instagram originally, but uh, the big important ones, the ones that are near the top of the list, I did kind of give a shout out again on the channel. Uh, but it, it was really cool to actually actually be able to do this and uh, I'm hoping next year I'll be able to do this 20 words or less thing again uh, do my usual lengthy reviews that are way too long this was a really good year for music lots of great material came out this year from just across the board and I'm just super excited to see what we get uh, into the future uh, into this next year I think you know music's only getting more interesting with time guys it's gonna be good it's gonna be good. All of my links to all of my music and my social media stuff, my Facebook and my Instagram and my SoundCloud and my Bandcamp and Spotify and Apple Music and all that great stuff, all that stuff is gonna be down in the description. So go check it out. Other than that, I wish you guys all a happy holidays. Hope you've been having a great holiday season thus far. And uh, I wish you nothing but the best going into the new year. Cause I'm hoping for the best music wise going into the new year. My name is Joe Pru. These are Joe Prue Music Reviews, and uh, your boy is out.